So it is a huge game coming up tomorrow. Kind of nervous about it, but excited at the same time. Blues against QPR. Big game, really. I'd probably say it's one of the biggest games of our eight because QPR are just sitting above us in the league. But well, let's get into it. <laughs> Going on Blue Nowsies, it's me again, Jay, the boy in blue, back with another video. Blues against QPR, Rowit's first game, how, uh, how are we all feeling? Um, love to hear your thoughts on the game, your predictions, and obviously with Marby being out and Rowit in, I'd love to hear uh, some of your comments and feedback. But before we get into today's video, I'd absolutely love it if you could hit the subscribe button and uh, show some support for a fellow Blue Nose. It's completely free. And it'll just notify you when I uh, do some more videos. But yeah, this is going to be the uh, match preview uh, for the QPR game. And also as well, a ch uh, kind of like a channel update and where the channel's going and stuff. And things I've been working on behind the scenes in the background to get it to where it is now and stuff. So yeah, stick around. We've got some stuff to talk about. So yeah, up the blues and keep right on. So yeah, it's blues against QPR away. So I'm going to share a uh, screen with you now. And this is the uh, league table and why I think it's such a, uh, a crucial game, really, because if you look at the league table, QPR are obviously just sitting right above Blues. And look, and for the rest, well, for the start of the season, they've been down in the bottom three, haven't they? But they've had a new manager and just seem to uh, broke away from it slightly. But... They're just sitting above us, and if Blues can win this, it'll be a massive win, really. And also, uh, depending on how all the other teams do as well. But if we can win this game, it'll obviously take us above QPR and slightly away from that bottom three. We only need like 50 odd points to be clear for the rest of the season. So, for eight games, it is doable. Um, I am going to remain positive, like I always have been. Um, for the start of the season and obviously starting this channel as well just to just try and create a bit of positivity and stuff because i love blues i love you a lot as well so yeah i'm going to be yeah remaining hopeful and obviously we've just had the news now with a new stadium as well so you know behind the scenes it's fantastic there's lots of positives and lots of big things happening but i'd love to hear your thoughts on the uh qpr game tomorrow and uh score predictions and what you think about uh, Marbury being off and Rabbit being in is he the man for the rest of the season um, I will get back to replying to some uh, I will get back to replying to some of your comments as well I haven't forgot I just, um, it's just it's just finding the time <coughs> after I've done a video and stuff it takes a lot to edit a video but yeah um, let's look at the QPR fixtures first of all so their last eight games is Blues. Could they get a result against Swansea? Uh, QPR and Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, obviously, both teams are going to want to win that. That's going to be interesting. So, I mean, they haven't really got a very, very hard run, have they really, I suppose? Um, probably the hardest game for them is Leeds at the end of the season and maybe Hull. Uh, so, let's have a look at their stats as well. So uh, their top goal scorer is Leah's chair with five goals. Chris Warnock on four. Kenneth Pale on four uh, assists. Yeah. Goal assists. Anything. Ratings. So obviously their top uh, goal scorer has got the biggest rating. Uh, goals per 90. Chris Warnock. Anything else that's really shot up a 90, 96. Chances created, 61. Uh, now, this is going to be a big one for Blues. Obviously, we need to start getting that ball in the back of the net and creating chances. So, be interesting to see what the Blues stats are. This is all new software that I'm using as well. I haven't used this before, but I know that uh, other YouTubers use it. Um, so, this is not the first time using this. I usually uh, load it. 
load of different couple of web browsers up and stuff to show with you. But I'm just going to go through it just so you can see it slowly. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, so that's quite interesting to see that. And then we can have a look at the um, blues, the blues one. Let's go back back onto the table to find our glorious club the boys in royal blue let's have a look so we'll look at the fixtures we uh, do go over that uh on a couple of podcasts but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well because obviously it's a blues channel it's not just about me it's about us um so yeah i want to hear your thoughts on the qpr game tomorrow uh, Blues and Preston, score predictions, Leicester and Blues, Blues and Cardiff, Blues Coventry, Rotherham and Birmingham and uh, Huddersfield. Two winnable games there, but very important because uh, Rotherham, they're, they're gone now. So, I mean, they haven't got like, a lot to play for. Blues have. So, really, that is a must win. Um, and then Huddersfield, they're just starting to show a bit of fight now compared to how they was at the start of the season. So they're going to be up for it as well. So, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these fixtures, Blues uh, Blues fans, for the rest of the season and what you think. We have a look at the stats now. Top goal scorer is still Jay Stansfield on nine goals. Just behind him is Jordan James and uh, Sariki Dembele. Assists with the most is Alex Pritchard. Junior Bakuna and Koji Moshi. Uh, goal assists, Junior Bakuna, Jay Stansfield and Koji Miyoshi. Put my bright in. And this is uh, showing the best players uh, who have been performing the most. Uh, so at the top it's saying here, Junior Bakuna, Junior Bakuna, Koji Drama, Christian Bielik. Goals per 90, Lucas Djukovic, Jordan James, Jay Stansfield. Expected goals, Jay Stansfield, Junior Bakuna. Junior Bakuna, bloody hell. Can't say his bloody name today. Koji Miyoshi. Uh, expected goals on target, Jay Stansfield. Junior Bakuna, Jordan James, Lucas Djukovic. Uh, yeah. Shots per 90, Sariki Dembele, Jay Stansfield. Um, chances created now, this is really, really crucial now because we, you know, it's been a bit difficult, hasn't it, the last few games to put that ball in the back of the net. So it's all right creating chances, but we need to stop putting the ball away. But on a positive, if you haven't seen the video yet of Rowett's first training session, there is plenty of smiles in the squad. With them interacting uh, with the lads and stuff. Um, so there was a lot of positives from that, and hopefully this can then be implemented uh, into these eight games to try and see what Ga uh, Gary Rowick can bring out of this squad um, to hopefully get these results coming in. But is he the man to keep us up? Uh, it's a big question. I think he can do it. Uh, he's been at the squad, been at the team before. Uh, Blue Nows is your thoughts as well. Um, clean sheets, John Ruddy 7. Save percentage, 69.2. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so that's just the fouls and stuff. But yeah, it is going to be a big game. I think personally as well. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are on this. Um, I don't think that 4-2, 3-1 works very well with the players and squad that we've got. Um, and I think it's a lot for Jay Stansfield on his own. You know, he's only a young kid and um, it's a lot of pressure when he's up there on his own. It's nice to see him up top as well because when we had like Rooney and, and, and Eustace and stuff, they're playing him on the right, like in midfield. And he's not he's not a midfielder. He's a born striker. And by God, when that ball lands... Uh, front of the kids' feet, you know, it's crisp and he can bang a goal away and we've seen that. You know, some of the goals he scored are 
been uh, superb. You know, he's uh, rippled the back of the neck, you know, with the main to pair. He's put in his shots as well. So, um, ideally, you need some support up front. Um, Duke is out. I was talking about this last night as well, and same again. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Obviously, um, Big Duke is out now, and I know that Tyler Roberts uh, isn't scoring goals, but some of the chances that Tyler Roberts has tried to create, you know, it's fell to uh, another Blues player that's followed up and put the ball in the net. So I think he'd be a good duo, uh, personally, with uh, Stansfield. I think I'd rather play him than uh, Hogan. Although there is reports um, that Rowett may be uh, implementing Hogan back into the uh, squad again to um, yeah to go forward. But yeah, Blue Nowsies, I just want to hear your thoughts and uh, just try and gauge you lot on uh, what you're thinking. Also as well, some good news. I've managed to book the uh, Monday off work. I mentioned this on a podcast last night. So I'll be going to the uh, Preston UB40 game. And it's my birthday on Sunday, the day before. I'm 32 years old. <laughs> I'm getting old now. Um, yeah, so can't wait to go there. I'm going to be there with my old man. So that's going to be a good birthday present as well. The wife's treated me as well. I've managed to get the cover for work. So absolutely superb. Buzzing. Get to watch the boys in Royal Blue again. And yeah, a uh, quick channel update. Just stuff I've been doing behind the scenes. I've been uh, reaching out to a couple of uh, ex-Blues footballers as well to try and get them on some podcasts and just to discuss their history with Blues and obviously when I was a kid you know some of these players were my idols so I used to look up to these when I was in school and playing football and learning to kick a ball so it'd be good to get some more players on I think at the minute as it stands uh, Matt Sadler will be the next um, Blues player uh, potentially Martin O'Connor as well and also now on the uh, live podcast I've been working on uh, some stuff as well beyond the scenes. Obviously, you lot that have been following me, you know that I've rebuilt my computer and stuff to make it better because it was lagging on my laptop and stuff. I couldn't be bothered with it. It was just making the experience worse for you lot watching it back. And when I was watching it back and editing it and it's buffering and yeah, so I've rebuilt my computer. I've hardwired the internet now so it's faster. Uh, and also, I've programmed into the computer now where you can actually phone in if you wanted to. And we tested it out last night where my lad was uh, on the wife's phone when she found in just to just test it on the stream because um, we didn't have any phone ins. Uh, yeah, and he sang shit on the villa. <laughs> so that is the only time, uh, yeah, I'll let him swear. But, uh, but yeah, uh, you can now phone in now as well. So, you know, be part of the journey. Uh, it's all opinions. But we all want the same uh, outcome. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, so don't be scared to phone in. You know, it. it It'd be brilliant to hear some of you on the phone and stuff um, going forward, doing the live streams. And, um, yeah, uh, you can still comment on there as well. And also, <laughs> with the programming, there's all lot of different voices that you can have as well. It's quite funny. Oh, what's this? Let's try this one. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, that's not working. Oh, it's this one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Keep right on till the end of the road. Keep right on till the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh dear. Let's get rid of these voices. Right, okay. Back to normal now. I'm stop messing around. But yeah, when you phone in as well, there's local different uh, things you can play as well. Um. But yeah, that, 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 that's what I've been working on behind the scenes. You know, like I'm passionate about Blues. I'm putting everything I can into this hobby, you know, because I love the club and I'm just trying to create a bit of positivity. And if you got this far, 14 minutes in, then fair play to you hearing me uh, rambling on. But yeah, come on, you Blue boys. Let's see uh, if we can get a result as well. And um, I look forward to hearing your comments, more importantly. And I will get back to replying to your um, comments as well. And yeah, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. And it'll just notify you when I do future videos coming up. So yeah, big game tomorrow. Can Blues come away with three points? And I'll catch you on the uh, Preston game at the UB49 as well. So I'm going now. Come on, you Blue boys. Let's see if we can get a result. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Keep right on. Up the Blues. Yeah.